previously on Coffee and Cody play Resident Evil. Big Woman has changed uh, the very face of Resident Evil. <laughs> if Big Woman <laughs> is in Reverse, I will play it. <laughs> that is probably the, Steam. That is the only Capcom way. idea to save a dying game before it's even released. Just put the Big Woman in it, and there you go. <laughs> this channel is purely non for profit. That's what they all say, and then they get their first sponsorship deal. I swear to God, if I see a weird Shadow Legends little pop up come up here, I will leave. <laughs> this sounds like. <laughs> the, this sounds like. Oh. Jesus, <laughs> okay. Have you, seen, have you seen the edit of. Um... Oh, you're going to say what I think you said of the Collector's Edition? God, no, not that one. Oh, right. <laughs> you know what I'm talking oh, about, don't no. you? <laughs> yes, I have. No, everyone, don't look at that. Editor coffee, put it on no, the screen. No, no, <laughs> oh no, it's blurred out. It's, it's, it's genetically engineered to goober. <laughs> Sorry, everyone, this video is just going to be us talking about Big Woman. Um, <laughs> she's the mother I never had. <laughs> she's she's the friend that everyone needs. I just, I don't know a better person. Hotel yeah. Dusk sounds like pre <laughs> Are you subscribed to my channel? I'm pretty sure I am. <laughs> the, the few seconds of silence there was very worried. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I am. Okay, good. That's where you're just subscribe, we're going to see it mysteriously go up one. <laughs> <laughs> or down one. Seven seconds till the end. Oh, that was a year ago. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't remind me of the passage of time. Just, it's not that I want to like Sony, it's that they just have the games that I would like on their systems. Oh, you, 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 you'd love Sony. Eh. Big Last of Us 2 fan, I've heard. When's the Last of Us 2 video coming out, Coffee? Jill's pose right now. You <laughs> <laughs> heard what I said, Jill, I'm so sorry. I know you didn't like that game. I'm sorry. Oh, I have no emotions to Last of Us 2. I don't care about it, and I don't... I, I'm i sure it's fine. Yeah, I have, oh, last, I have Last of Us remastered for PS4. I think I stole it off someone. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I oh, will... Oh, wait, I'm being a criminal. And the, <laughs> the one thing you stole was a copy of the last. <laughs> wow! Listen. All the things to steal. Listen. Then again, Tales of Arise for me does look like one of those, like, Mario as he was always meant to look video games. <laughs> so so I, I get the nipple clamps. <laughs> <laughs> I get the nipple clamps. But I just. I don't understand the. I don't understand the pace. It's just. It's not for me. <laughs> Do I send them to the friends all? <laughs> they didn't train me. <laughs> they didn't train me for this. Oh. Will the boys actually make progress this time, or just fuck around like usual? Find out right now. You're you're that one kid she quit teaching over. I'd be proud of that. <laughs> You'd be proud if you ended someone's career prematurely. I probably have in some degree. Oh shit, was coffee a problem, child? Oh god, no. Was I? No. No no way, I was, I was way too... Oh, I can't imagine any, you know, anything but a sweetheart. Oh. I mean, I, I can't think of any particular- Oh fuck. Oh, there we go. I can't think of any, like, moments where I would have been, so... I was a quiet kid, I just, I mostly just drew in the corner. Which is not too different than what I am now, so... <laughs> Coffee it has and always will be. Quiet boy joining in the corner. That's me. But during the night. Oh the don't we strikes, don't talk we don't talk about that. <laughs> he will become quite the nasty boy. <laughs> we don't talk about nighttime. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm not talking about that other nighttime, I'm talking about the other incidents where you become a nasty boy. Wait, you know what you did. <laughs> you know what you did. <laughs> Viewers at home, what did he do? <laughs> I'll leave it up to you to figure out. It's probably not even that interesting. Not during these days, anyway. Uh, yes, there we go. Um. God, these dogs are going fucking ham. <laughs> 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 like, is this non-stop? <laughs> 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 
your All right, right <laughs> fucking out. <laughs> it's like every Jesus, second. Jesus, guys. Can we just <laughs> for a minute? I presume that's a... Uh... Oh. There we go. Oh, okay. No, no. He did. No, oh, I didn't hear the, shit! I didn't hear the yelp. I thought I did. Oh. Oh yeah, no auto EM, so it's a bit hard dealing with these guys. Not dead. Dead. Okay. Uh, oh, danger! Danger, danger. There we go. That's fine, we have four herbs there anyway. We good. Mm. Dogs, crawl and howl once more if you think we're good at this game. There we go. There we go. Sounds like hour 12 at a Furcon. <laughs> <laughs> Sad and desperate. Like the idea that my first Furcon I went to and my greatest memory was having. Back and Bops at 3 a.m. Yeah, well hammered. Uh, I, I did it right. I did everything right. <laughs> I mean, it, it wasn't particularly a... It wasn't particularly a wild con. The next time... That was, this, my, the that ne was my first one, if I don't have contacts. But yeah, the next one that will happen Jesus. after lockdown. Jesus. The next con that's going to happen after Furcon is going to be... Wear some goggles and a rain sticker, because you will get wet. That's one way to put it. You'll be in the splash zone. Yeah, there'll just be fluids flying everywhere. The smell of desperation around every corner. I mean, that's just me on a Tuesday. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, actually, yeah, I was at the, the dentist last week, and this was my first contact with other people, and like... Four months, I think. And in my head, it's okay, just, just play it cool, just play it cool. <laughs> well, so, I like, how you doing? <laughs> I like the idea that, like, you know, the first time you've seen another person other than your family in the, the few months, um, you you go into the dentist and you just go, get in my mouth! <laughs> <laughs> Please, put something in my mouth! <laughs> oh... The, oh, I just walk in, ignore the chair, and skid on my knees. It's like, this is how you do it, isn't it, right? <laughs> you completely lost all sense of, uh, all sense oh. of normality. Yeah, it's like, please, just put something in my mouth, please. <laughs> please uh, do not isolate that sound and <laughs> use it as a soundboard. <laughs> Actually, uh, no, do. It will save me some time. Make that my ringtone. Please put something in my mouth. <laughs> oh, you know what I want as my ringtone? You know what I want. Uh, I, I don't. Oh? Oh, yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> um, context for that. Uh, oh, I can just drill that now. Yeah. The, um, we played a good amount of games in the interim, um, over Discord, but one in particular, pick particular, um, was Metal Wolf Chaos, which is... Is it a good game? I don't really know. I mean, you played it. I, it is, I would definitely describe Metal Wolf Chaos as a game that you watch as a let's play. You do not play it. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I was thinking that's the best way to describe it. But we were playing it, and there's just one audio cue <laughs> that <laughs> just hits Cody so right. <laughs> In which I, I can't remember which battle it is, but I think it was the it's bridge the battle, battle. Yeah, it's the battle on the bridge where you fight like a giant tank. But something about it in particular, there's a moment <laughs> where um, Richard Hawk just just makes a little a little chirp of a noise. <laughs> the thing is, it, it doesn't make it as part of the dialogue. It's just because you skipped the cutscene. Oh yes, it just, yeah. It always yeah. played that first part, and he just went, oh. <laughs> and it just fucking... and yeah, for some reason I just lost my I've shit. I've never seen you <laughs> more ruined uh... by something. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to like try and find this audio clip somewhere. I, I might have to go back and play the game, which I do not want to do. But 
Uh, I'm sure you can borrow someone else's let's play and just give them credit. Uh, yeah, that seems scabby though. I mean, be you coffee and just steal it as you're prone to do. Fucking hell. <laughs> I would never. <laughs> as he looks at his stolen copy of The Last of Us Remastered. Uh, if I'm gonna steal anything, <laughs> it can be a fucking Naughty Dog game. They don't pay their employees, I can steal their games. Ah, that is true. Alright. It's a letter. The top of the letter is missing, the remaining says, Yes, I'm infected, I did everything I could, but I could only delay the progress for a few days. The most frightening thing is the forget. If I choose a painful debt rather than becoming a living debt. God, if if I get COVID, I'm gonna start writing a the TSC diary. Or it's just me progressively getting more and more dumber and more violent. I mean, and that's the same random nouns. That's pretty much what you are now. Wow. I don't see. Thank a lot you. Here. Look at the material. Look at the material. You should be going home. You can anyway. be the judge of it. I don't see any. I don't see any issue here. All right. <laughs> so which way am I supposed to push this? Try the other way? I think you have to move the fish tank. Oh, but I can't. I know, because Jill's... Jill's... Jill, Jill, oh, she woman, she can't do it. She, oh, she no. woman, she can't do it. She needs big, strong Chris or Barry to do All it. Alright, Ubisoft. <laughs> no, if this is a Ubisoft game, we just have the, the Chris story. True. Can't, can't spend half our devel development time making animations for a woman model. God, no. Where does the stank order go? <laughs> it just, it went down, but where did it go? The Barry's mouth agape in the room below. I, I mean, it sounds like a fun party to me. <laughs> By a burden I'd, agape. I'd go to that party. <laughs> uh, yeah. Barry's a, he's a good dad. Yeah, he's literally a dad. Yeah. He's got the figure. There we go. He's one of the only people in the Resi franchise who canonically just has a child and is kind of normal. Yeah, he does. I think he's the only one like sort of person in the, the sort of main lore of Resident Evil who actually has a family. As in, you know, like a wife and kids, not like a brother or sister or anything yeah, like yeah. that. Well, I, I fully believe that um, the Redfields don't aren't really real because they never <laughs> they never actually like mention their parents. Yeah, yeah. I never see them. They, they were born in a lab. Fuck the Wesker children. They were made in a lab. <laughs> I suppose Wesker has a child. That's true. Hey, yeah, does have Jake. Never to be seen again. Never to be seen. Yeah, one terrible game. See, so listen, if you have one mediocre or bad game in Resident Evil that's you in the void. You're not getting out. Uh, that's not true. You, you could even be in a good game and just disappear. Who's in a good game and disappeared? Um... Carlos, I mean, Tree isn't bad. The original Tree, I mean. Like, it's not a bad game. No, we're going to throw it. I'll be original Tree. It's probably... I love original Tree more than Tree. I mean, that's not hard. Actually, um... really? Because that's, that's always a a weird tech. Like, people love to, and then time you say, oh, I think Tree was better, it's like, what? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm saying it's not hard to say that remake tree is, is worse than oh yeah okay original tree um no i would completely disagree with you there i don't i don't see how that makes sense then again i haven't played original three or, or original two so i can't really i'm the weirdest person to ask on that question <clears throat> yeah what is your resident Evil timeline in terms of gameplay is it pretty much just the remakes yeah, just remakes four and then back to original one um, I suppose, did I start four? Before? Yeah, no, I started four before we started this, so. I'm still nowhere. You zero? No, well? I didn't play zero. Oh. I want Deep to. Do you Yeah, yeah, I want to. I have it, so. I have the, um, I have the PS4 will... collection of uh, one and zero. Oh, the Origins collection? Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to play zero with you anytime. Um, no one's ever said that. Actually, no, that's not true. Um... Demenza's Gate was, like, fucking yelling at me yesterday. Like, <laughs> play Zero, it's one of my favorite. I'm like, oh, okay. I've never heard anyone say that, but... I'm calling you out, Dem. Hello. I like you because you like Resident Evil Zero. Um... 
Yeah. I have I mean... low standards. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, want friends. He was uh he was he was in my last video. He's a good lad. Yeah. He I mean I don't know which one is my favorite yet so far to be honest. Again, I think the the, the thing that kind of probably portrayed or make people sort of frown upon Zero more is because it came out nine months just after remake. I mean, compared yeah. the two, it's it's no competition. Which but is a really Zero unfair is still way good. To... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like Zero still, there's a lot, a lot of good things. Mm. One annoying, infuriating thing that I'll never forgive them for, but it's still a good game. What the switching back and forth? Oh no, it's uh, the whole item thing. Oh yeah, that's the worst. Yeah, there's, there's no item chests. That's half almost... my time in my in that game is just moving items back and forth. It's it's honestly kind of baffling. Um, it's very it's very the same energy of like when um DMC two came out when they were like we don't know what makes this game good. Yeah. So we're just going to like. Items are a key mechanic of Resident Evil. Making them not yeah, functional. They've, just they've done four, five games at this point. They yeah. knew the main mechanics that made it good. So yeah, it was just, I don't know, maybe it's like, oh, it's because we have three characters now. They have 12 items last. They don't need an item chest. We did <laughs> need an item chest. <laughs> it's like, have you seen a Resident Evil player? <laughs> yeah, we all have it. OCD and manage every single item we get. Have you seen Pat? <laughs> Come on. I mean, I, I watch Hot Spy Threes to look down on him. I think Pat is the, most, <laughs> is the craziest person when it comes to Resident Evil, easily. Because he's just... I, mean, I would have a lot of Pat's tendencies when it comes to Resident Evil. Oh, yeah. A lot of... Resident Evil satisfies the OCD part of my brain. Um... I, it doesn't, it doesn't every last item. It doesn't, it doesn't for me. Because, like, I like the... The format of why I like Resi is obviously like the camp bullshit, but I really enjoyed the kind of discovery element of it. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, going into a room and being like, what can I find? Yeah, that's, that's I think that's why you like the games, is, is the sort of the environments and obviously all the camp bullshit, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like Resi, I always find Resi games are just a giant puzzle box. Yeah, pretty much. That's a good way to look at them. I do love that pose. <laughs> I like how she, it's like she's been there for five seconds and she's already fed up. Mm. There we go. That's a nice fire texture. <laughs> it is. For, I mean, it looks for like what it's I a had. gift. Yeah. It's 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 charming. It, it does the job. What am I? <laughs> Look. It does the job. And One of my slowly favorite. Put their hand in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, already pissed off, are we? Yeah, but... she's fucking. She's no fucking patience in this game, apparently. It's a map of the second floor. Yes. You got the map. One of my favorite things to do in video games, particularly looking back, is look at how at fire is animated, because it's such a. Oh yeah, it's it's like really wild and how different people do it because. It's such a telltale like... of what generation something came out or <laughs> like have you ever seen the fire in um oblivion it's so it's really good but everything else is fucking awful <laughs> elder scrolls oblivion yeah yeah, yeah. the fire oh, is really impressive to show attention to their fire but i'll look at it now it's one of, i i always look at how it's, it's not like fireplaces or or like Torch lamps are really interesting to me in terms of animation because yeah oh I see it now yeah I see it it's really good for, especially for the Again, generation maybe, like yeah it's maybe because you know the whole part of that game was you know the oblivion gets and also a lot of it a lot of the themes of the environment was fire based so maybe they did yeah. spend a lot of time on it that's true you're talking mm -hmm. to someone who's never actually completed an Elder Scrolls game in your life uh, I've only ever completed Skyrim. I, yeah, and I've only ever done it once. I would I'm like to get bored. I would like to go back to Skyrim someday and see if it holds up because it was. I played a lot of it um, in my teen years. Not oddly enough, not on my like console. I played it. I played the entirety of an Elder Scrolls game at a friend's house. 
Okay, I thought you were going to say play on PC. And I was like, who no, are you? No, I did not have the money for a PC back then. I would just go to my friend's house and use his Xbox because I had I had a Wii. So of course I did. Was there coffee? Was there a point in time where your tastes in games would were very I don't know generic? What do you mean? Like, if I said if someone asked me, do you think coffees have played an Elder Scrolls game? I said no, probably not. Really? Oh yeah. no, I I quite like. Um, oh, well, I say that I've never I've only ever played Skyrim. I've like played bits of Oblivion. And nothing else. Oh, do you have a shelf of lads games? Come on, let me see it. I don't think so. <laughs> Are Ratchet like and Clank your, lad games? Your, no, it's not coffee. <laughs> I was imagining you. Kind of is. You were closing your jar full of games like FIFA and Need for Speed. No. Your shame pile. I do not own those, dude. Don't you? Coffee's worry. Coffee's secret shame. He's just a he's just a pro lad. He's just a the, real lad. The laddish game I own is like Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> like come on because as we've said before lads fucking love Crash Bandicoot fucking love it oh fuck me I love Crash Bash I do <laughs> fucking love Crash Bash gonna Crash Bash some poofs oh wow <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh I thought I had to use this here alright We've got a uh, brief glimpse of the alternate timeline straight coffee. God, that's a nightmare. I would love to meet him and hang out with him and listen how He'd probably he... probably really dislike you. <laughs> yeah, he probably would, but I would just listen to him anyway. Just how he's always going to buy his bird, wants to take him out shopping. How he just wants to have some lager at night, watch the footy, and play some Call of Duty. Where's him? What would his Sona's name be? What's the the most I don't know generic so what, masculine 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 leaning persona? Uh oh, wolf for sure. Wolf. Okay, yeah. it'll be a wolf. Yeah, it'll be a wolf. No Definitely one... not called coffee cakes. No, that's that's, <laughs> that's as gay as you possibly could get. <laughs> oh, I, I I like your name. I think it's really nice. Like, well, yeah, because it's incredibly gay. <laughs> Honestly, it'd probably be fucking Cody. Cody's a fucking basic. No, bitch, it's not. <laughs> it's not. Would, I think would... I I remember I made it up when we were playing fucking Good Run guys. Oh yeah. I was like, fuck it, Cody. There we go. It's sorted. It's a good name. I think it suits. I like it. I think it suits you. Um, I don't know. It would probably be oh oh. I didn't know you could actually see yourself. That's good. Ray traced baby. <laughs> That's a good sound of name. Ray, Ray traced. Trace. Ray Trace. Oh, just Ray. Ray, Ray Trace. That was, yeah. Oh, Ray Trace. Okay. That's, that's I can see that bad. their persona would be wearing like futuristic, futuristic stuff, you know, like the the visors I see some of them yeah, wearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you seen Ray Trace? He's into fisting. <laughs> <laughs> this, the word fisting is like just streamed across his goggles at all times. <laughs> <laughs> it's impressive. God, I, I, I want a visor to, to, to stream all my fetishes so everyone can see them. Fine, be too Actually, long. no, I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized the, the issues it would raise. Yeah, but you only thought of that in terms of, like, a programmer's mind of, like, oh, that would be so hard to <laughs> actually do. Oh, no, it wouldn't be. Would not? No, it's just, just stream a, a list of, of a static string. No, it would just be um, you know that you know that gif of uh, where where all the, the the words are coming across the screen. And it's like um, young, dumb, and full of you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, winky face, you know, winky face. Now I have no real idea where to go. So I think we need one more. Um, um I, I, need, we need, I it? need two more. Oh shit. I just locked them up. Uh, I'll do a, I'll do a lap if, and see if, I can if that doesn't it. insult your pro gamer prowess. Uh, that's, I, <laughs> I don't even know how to function. That's hard. In terms let's of hard that. cut and put in the part where Coffee died four times to the snake. <laughs> Very much in unison. Um. We don't do that if I 
Ugh, I'll do that if I'm bothered. I don't Editor think... Coffee is a pro. He he will go the extra mile. I know he will. Editor, it I don't know. My brain works really weird in terms of editing. Like I've seen when I was doing that collab with them, we were um we were using one Google Doc for the uh for the script and he was just like what the hell does any of this mean <laughs> and i was like no 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 no! it makes sense in my mind <laughs> he's like what is like it's just like insert random video of a woman laughing. i was, I was just gonna I was say like, what, what, what was all your notes was it just like asterisk coffee uh riff riffs bullshit pretty asterisk. much <laughs> it's a lot of like insert that one video that you found a 4 a.m. once, haha, ha, lol. <laughs> I mean, that'd be my edit edits, but I would I would never remember the video I was talking about, and it'd just be white text and says insert that video. You know the one, but I actually don't know what the one is. <laughs> you know the one, winky face. Yeah, you know the one, <laughs> winky face. Lol? Question mark? You up? I'm just saying things at this point. I like the idea of you flirting with your past self. Oh, I would if I could. <laughs> Who wouldn't? Nah. I, I mean, I'd be too wise to my bullshit. I was like, you know you're not going to do anything, you piece of shit. You don't have the fucking balls. Uh, yeah, fucking... Um, past you is a bottom top, future you is a top. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Time is linear, except your ass. Time is a circle, just like my asshole. Ah, uh, there you go. We figured it out. <laughs> we solved the mystery. We're, we're, well, we're never going to solve the mystery of your asshole. That's, that, well, a... that's a, a long, for, forbidden, locked away puzzle that no one has managed to solve. Mm -hmm. it's, uh... It needs its own whole Da Vinci's. <laughs> Dimension Code series of novels to figure your ass, out. Your ass is an ARG. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta collect all the cars to mark the secret. <laughs> Skater 569 is nothing on your ass. <laughs> did I take everything in here? I think so. We did play the piano, didn't we? Oh, I can, I can turn lights on now. Yeah, I think there's something in that cabinet on the left. Oh no, sorry, that was a remake. Go in the hole. Because if we didn't turn the candle on, we couldn't get the music notes, right? No, surely. No. Oh. Okay. God. Well, there was something in here then. No, we, we got the music notes already. Uh... I think we've got everything in this room then. Uh, I think so. Yeah. This is kind of the format of just like no idea what to do. Just go back to old places. Yeah, I can look it up if you want. Oh, it's all those guides for this twenty-year-old game. Is there? Twenty-five-year-old game. Get on Game Fox. Get on, get on Game Fox and find some ASCII art. What quests are we missing? Oh, I don't know. Find out now. I think my favorite ASCII art was always the people who did Zelda, um, Zelda tutorials. The ASCII art was always really impressive in those. I, for some reason, I remember. Well, it's one of the Resident Evil ones be quite impressive actually because they would spend time and do ASCII art for all the maps, with all the items in it. it was, oh, that's cute. God, how much time do you put into this? Like, I love Resident Evil. I don't love enough to sit and write. 100 page word document how to play the game well that was that was back before let's plays so it was a different time better time early 2000s internet was the best it was very wholesome we'll never, go, we'll never go back to it there was something pure about it i remember there's this resident Evil fan site that was on forums all the time like that was very much my go-to website what was your username? Uh, I don't remember. It's probably something dumb and edgy. It's probably the same username I have right now. Yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, 
Uh, Sorry for having I... you here, but I'm gonna no. flash up an image no. of uh, no. Cody's no. Discord <laughs> name. That's a forbidden secret. That's for special friends only. Oh, I suppose friends, actually, I probably friends shouldn't. Friends that I trust. People yeah, will they'll, they'll find, find me. <laughs> I won't. And that, that will be horrible. I'll put something worse for up. them. We got a number one victory royale. Yeah, Fortnite, we bout to get down. get down. Ten kills on the board right now. Just wiped out Tomato Town. Also, can I just say, can we can we uh, cut out this last part where I was looking up a guide because this would ruin my Resident Evil cred. I I am going to put out <laughs> a lot of bits where we don't know what's going on. Don't worry. I am known. In certain circles as a Resident Evil pro and this would hurt that reputation coffee so yeah but only like <laughs> you're only known for remake quality like I don't I only associate you with um Resident Evil GameCube onwards I don't PS I don't I I've never seen you hold a PS1 controller of course not you didn't know me by then I did have a PS1 no, I refuse to believe you do. I actually think, like, if I was to give you, you think... one... If I was to give you one, you'd just think it's like... Oh, actually, no, hang on, hold on. I was going to make a joke about you eating a PS1 controller because you think it's like a, a, fu a, a fruit gummy or something. Oh, I, but, I was going to say, I put it inside myself. That's, well, that's what I would do. But <laughs> can we talk about that one time we went to a... You're going to love the PS5. <laughs> <laughs> Haptic feedback, baby! <laughs> Can we talk about the time we went to a barcade for your birthday and um, no? Th what do you mean? <laughs> no, wow, okay. Go. go ahead. There no. was a no. There was a barcade um, in Belfast. That we, I can't remember what it was called, but um, cuckoos. Oh shit! So we, so we name places out where we, out where does, we live. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably yeah, closed I, now. People who want to stalk me down and possibly murder me, I don't live in Belfast, so good luck finding me there. That's true. You do not live in the Belfast. Um, but otherwise, here is my full address. <laughs> <laughs> no, not that dumb. Okay, go ahead. We went to we went to a barcade in which it was it was essentially just a bar that mm -hmm. had. Um, like a few, like I, there wasn't a DDR or anything, but there was like a few like gun games and stuff. They were bad yeah, yeah. ones, I remember. But the piece de resistance was on the way to the toilet. <laughs> on the way to the toilet, there was a PS One classic strapped to a wall, <laughs> <laughs> and it was just. I uh. love the idea of a barcade going. Ah, oh, let's just put this up. It's retro, and then like some guy comes in every night and plays the entirety of Final Fantasy Seven. Yeah, I do like the idea of a guy coming in and saving his progress and then coming back. I'll come back next Saturday it's and like, continues. What a bizarre thing to do to put a PS1 classic yeah, in a bar. There was a, a SNES classic as well. That we almost a, makes consoles. more sense for me. Yeah, yeah, because they're smaller games. Like there, and there'd be more party games. Like you could play like Kirby Superstar on it or something. But the, just... yeah, the PS classic with like MGS. MGS. Final Persona, Fantasy 7. Persona 1. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's tacking on it. That's, that one's, I would True. say, people playing. But yeah, mean... the selection doesn't really... You know, I... it doesn't really suit uh, out to our uh, public place where you're actually you know, supposed to be social. I just love the idea. All right, Jeff, you're back for your nightly... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're back for your, your nightly uh, playthrough of Persona 1. Oh, yeah, can't wait. Yeah. Give just, me some Just for regular, please, yep. Yeah. Jimmy, so give us some Jesus Chris. Give us some cheese crazy. <laughs> I mean, I can imagine that because that'd probably be me. No, nah, you wouldn't. You don't I'm care not about enough, I'm not social enough to go outside and do that. I'd sit inside and do it. Well, that's not what I was going to say. You don't care enough about Persona um, before 3 to. <laughs> How <laughs> to... dare you? Oh, yeah, come on. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> Here's an edit you can't find the video. I actually hate Persona 1. Oh, really? Well, I hate for 2 is a strong word. It's okay. I don't hear they're very good. 1, I don't know. It's a very different game. It's not a Persona game, I would say. It's aged it's in a very yeah. interesting way. but Even even the remake for 1 is, uh, is bad, I would say. It's got Again, great music. I'm sure someone's going to come on at me with that. Um... Yeah. I, I didn't follow 
Persona 4 is the first one I played, not something I fold, and I went back and played 3 and tried to play the other two and said, I can do it. I mean, that's kind of... That's not to say that what everyone did, but that was... 4 was where a large majority of its success <clears> came from. No, I always say, if, it's always things I know the, the fan base in Persona is that it's always the first game they play that's their favourite one. Um... Maybe. Yeah, I mean, there's, I, a, there's a, a coincidence I've seen with a lot of people I know who play for Cena. I, I always ask them what their favorite ones. It always turns out to be the first one they played. I certainly hope that Five isn't my favorite one. <laughs> Not that I hate Five, but I don't know. As as we go further and further into the future, my nostalgia and like for Five has kind of waned a little bit. Probably because yeah. of like the memes and how obnoxious Persona fans are. Yeah, we're fucking bastards, we're assholes. Well, you aren't, but... Like, you saw... <laughs> you remember when The World Ends With You, Neo, was announced. And oh, yeah. Was game, like, oh, that game gave me strong Persona 5 vibes. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to go to Tokyo and just see all the Persona strong Persona 5 vibes I'm gonna get from that place. Can't believe, can't believe Square Enix uh, stole so much from... <laughs> I don't know, it's sort of a blatant rip-off. You know, I find funny is I would say it's it's, def it's probably the opposite. They probably used the world ends with you as an inspiration for P five. You know, I would say probably for five the most because five is the only one that they're like, okay, we're doing Japan, like we're no, no yeah. we're doing Tokyo, like this is this is it. We're doing like a near on one for one Tokyo re yeah, Japan. Yep, yep. That was by so, design. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, the original P5 concept was you're supposed to be traveling around the world. Which you can totally see in terms yeah. of a lot of its oh, like, locations. Yeah, and like the Hawaii trip, I imagine that was maybe an early part of it, that just still, still somehow made it into the game. Hawaii trip, um, kind of the weird the weird outside area of Futaba's palace. Um, uh, like the amount of like kind of you know Japan stuff in... Um, Yusuke's palace. Well, not Yusuke's palace, but that's why I feel what 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 a strikers is going to be is probably going to be what to more what the original concept of five was going to be, where you're traveling around different places. Yeah, maybe. Um, I don't Girl, know if I'm going to play for that game. Yeah, I, I don't know oh. if I'm going to play strikers. <laughs> I'm fucking play the shit out of it. I've been trying to play um, Age of Calamity, and it's good, but. I'm having a hard time coming back to it every time. I don't know why. I've always had that problem with Musou games. Like I'm playing Persona Five Strikers more for the story and the game and the characters, not for mm. the gameplay at all. I do not care for the gameplay. It does look like they're trying to like add kind of more hobby worlds to Strikers though and stuff to make yeah, it look like a. I think that's where they should try and take the direction of these sort of Musou licensed games, where they try to you know recreate Musou into more of what the original game was, rather mm -hmm. than try to just, you know, create a generic Musou game and throw insert IP characters from IP here. I, I, I don't I don't think they've really done that in a while. Like Age of Calamity does a really good job of kind of making it feel like a Zelda game, but um it is it is like very clear it's Musou first. Which yeah. it, which I mean it not that it shouldn't, you know. God, when we get in the Resident Evil Musou, come on. Come on. Uh, that would be great. That would be rad. <laughs> Holy shit. That's never going to happen, though. Resident <laughs> Evil is too serious these days. Yeah, it has to be based on the sort of the 90s camp version of Resident Evil. Give me a buff Chris fighting, shirtless Chris fighting a bunch of hunters while his boyfriend Wesker watches in the distance and throws some flowers and blows kisses at him. Leon is just backflipping into every scene. <laughs> Again, Resident Evil 4, Leon would be perfect for that kind of game. Yeah, totally. Just backflips, saying random one-liners. And then falling over and asking for Ada to help him. Ada, help! Eh. Eh. Alright, what do I have to do now? My friend has gone down. I revived him, now we're heading southbound. Now we're in the Pleasant Park streets. Look at the map, go to the mark sheet. Take me to your Xbox to play Fortnite today. You can take me to Meyer, but not Loot Lake. I